Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have to solve this double integration. Okay. But they have told we have to convert this problem in polar coordinates and then we have to solve. Okay. So let us write a given integral first. What we have i is equal to double integration dA over s. Okay. So what will I do? I will try to draw the region of integration first. Okay, we will find the region of integration. Then we will convert problem in polar coordinates and then we will solve. Okay, so what have they mentioned? S is here. S is bounded by. Okay, see what have they mentioned? The region is bounded by a circle. So they are given this equation of circle x square plus y square minus 8y is equal to 0. Okay, so this is not in standard form. What is the standard form of uh, equation of circle x minus a square plus y minus b square is equal to r square. So if you have equation of circle like this, its center is a comma b and radius is r. Okay, so I will try to express this equation of circle in that way. Okay. So what will I do? I need to adjust a bracket square here, x square plus y square minus 8y. So multiple of y is 8, right? Multiple of y is, eight. there is one simple technique to adjust bracket square. Whatever the multiple of y, take its half and take its square. What did I say? Whatever the multiple of y, take its half and take its square. Multiple of y is 8, its half is 4 and its square is 16. So let us add 16 in both sides, adding 16 in both sides. So x square plus we have got a bracket square here. Y minus sign is there and 16 is the square of 4. Bracket square is equal to 16 means 4 square, right? Uh, so yeah, we have uh, got almost that standard form. So let me write x minus 0 means x itself plus y minus 4 square is equal to 4 square. So I have written the given equation in its standard form. So this is equation of circle, right? So its center, so its center is, what is its center? A comma B. So here center will be 0 comma 4 and radius. So let us denote it by simply R. So radius is R here getting, so radius is 4 here. So we have got a circle with center 0 comma 4. 0 comma 4 is here right on y axis 1 2 3 4 0 comma 4 is here and its radius is 4 again so yes 1 2 3 4 so let me draw the rough sketch of circles the circle will be like this so this is given circle to us okay after that they have mentioned one more equation that is equation of line so they have clearly mentioned this is equation of line getting uh, equation of line or oh, see there it's root 3x root 3x okay equation of line uh, let me write here we have we have y is equal to root 3x power of x is 1 power of y is 1 so it's a line line let me mention so now we have to draw a line so we have we are familiar with one result if you have any uh, two points. So there is a unique line which passes through given points. Therefore, to draw this line, we need to have any two points on a line. So to obtain points on a line, I draw a table like this. See the first column is x, y and here x, y. So we have to find any two points on that line. Okay. So for that, I'm going to put any value of x. I'm putting x is equal to zero. If I put x 0 here, value of y will be 0. So the point is 0, 0. That means that line passes through this point 0, 0. So let us go put another value of x. I'm going to put x is equal to 1. If I put 1 here, y will be root 3. So it is 1 comma root 3, right? So 1 is here getting and root 3 will be root 3 means 1 point something. So it will be somewhere here. So line passes through this point as well as 0, 0. So I'm drawing a rough sketch of that line. So this is the line we have. What is this equation? Y is equal to root 3x. That's it. So we got a line. What have they mentioned? The region in first quadrant. Region in first quadrant 
cut by that line and the circle. So that's why this is a region of integration. So we got the region of integration cut by the line and that circle. So now they have asked to convert this problem that integral in polar form and then we have to solve. So when we want to convert a problem in polar coordinates, we have a very standard substitution that is x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta. So let us put, see to convert problem in polar form, polar form, we put, we always put x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta and obviously dx dy is r dr d theta. So we have this standard substitution. So with the help of that, I will convert all equations in polar form and then we will find the limits of integration. Okay, just make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So let us convert given equations in polar form. Okay, so what is the equation we have? We have this equation of circle. Let us convert it in polar form. We have x square plus y square. I'm shifting 8y on that side. So it is 8y plus 8y. Here we had a minus sign. So here we put x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. Let us put, so this is r square cos square theta y is r sin theta so r square sin square theta 8 y means r sin theta we can take r square common so cos square theta plus sin square theta 8 r sin theta cos square plus sin square is 1 so here we will have r square only r square into 1 r square so 8 r sin theta we can cancel r r from both sides so r is equal to 8 sin theta. So this is the equation of circle. So let me mention here r is equal to 8 sin theta. See one more equation we have that is that equation of line. So let us convert it into polar form. So we have we have what is equation of line y is equal to root 3x. So y means r sin theta x means r cos theta. So r sin theta root 3 r cos theta here we can cancel r from both sides okay so if i cancel r from both sides we will have sin theta right sin theta is equal to root 3 cos theta so now here my target is to find a value of theta i will try to express the equation in terms of theta uh, see we will okay so cos theta i am going to shift here so we will have sin theta upon cos theta is equal to root 3 which is tan theta root 3 let us shift tan on that side theta is equal to tan inverse root 3 and uh, value of tan inverse root 3 is pi by 3 yes pi by 3 so equation of this line theta is equal to pi by 3 now it's very easy to find the limits so always first we write limits of r and then we write limits of theta in case of polar coordinates, we always draw strip like this. Okay, it's it is like this. It's one end is fixed at origin and it moves like this. It moves like this, right? So strip is bounded below by origin, which is zero, bounded above by a part of circle whose equation is eight r is equal to eight sin theta. Now we are interested to find the limits of theta. Strip should sh uh, start here it will rotate like this and it will go up to this point okay to cover the each and every point of a circle that region so uh, theta starts at 0 and it will go the strip will go up to this line where the value of theta is pi by 3 so in this way we got the limits of r and theta okay just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us find uh, the value of that integral i is equal to okay i is equal to so in case of polar coordinates, the inner integration with respect to R, outer integration with respect to theta, right? So here dA means dx dy, its value is R dr d theta. Inner integration with respect to R, so that's why limits of R will be 0 to, okay, 0 to 8 sin theta, 
and limits of theta will be 0 to pi by 3. So we have already calculated its value. So let us integrate 0 to pi by 3. Integration of r is r square by 2 with limit 0 to 8 sin theta d theta. So now I am putting upper limit lower limit. Uh, sorry, integration 0 to pi by 3. I am putting upper limit. So 8 square which is 64 sin square theta by 2. If I put 0, obviously we will get 0 d theta. So 64 by 2 that is 32. It's a constant we can take it outside. Integration 0 to pi by 3 only sin square theta we have inside the integration. See we, we don't have any direct formula to find the integration of sin square theta. So I will take the help of trigonometry. There is one famous formula sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. So this formula I am going to use. So easily we can find the value of integration. So it is 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 d theta. See 2 is there, 1 by 2 is there. It's a constant we can take it outside. Okay. Uh, so let us solve the next part here. So 1 by 2 is constant. It will come outside and it will get cancelled with 32. So we'll have 16 only. Uh, integration 0 to pi by 3 1 minus cos 2 theta d theta. So let us integrate. Integration of 1 is theta minus integration of cos is sine 2 theta. Whatever the multiple of theta we write in denominator. So 0 to pi by 3. So 16. Now I am putting upper limit lower limit. So at a place of theta I am putting pi by 3. So it is pi by 3 minus sine theta pi by 3. 2 is there. So I 2 pi by 3 divided by 2. If I put 0, 0 we will have and sine 0 is 0 again. Right. Uh, yes. So let us complete this problem here. Let me remove this diagram. So we'll have some more space to write. Uh, so I think the complicated part is this one sine 2 pi by 3. Let us find its value sine 2 pi by 3, which is equal to sine pi minus pi by 3. If you cross multiply again, we will have sine 2 pi by 3. We have to find its value, right? Same thing 2 pi by 3 have express in this way. So there is one formula sine pi minus theta is equal to sine theta again. So pi minus theta sine theta. So sine this is pi by 3. So that means sine 2 pi by 3 is same as sine pi by 3. So with the help of that I am writing here 16 pi by 3 minus sine pi by 3 upon 2. So 16 pi by 3 sine 2 pi by 3 is root 3 by 2. So root 3 by 2 upon 2 which is equal to 16 pi by 3 minus root 3 2 into 2 4. So this is required answer. Okay. So make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.